Let's go over the swing clean. Now you might want to wear wristbands for uh, the first few lessons with the swing clean like you do with the vertical clean just to get the timing so it's not slapping you on the wrist. But in time, you're not going to need the wristbands. So you know that the clean means bring the bell into the rack position. So this is going to be a single arm swing. It's very low. And then at about navel height, you're just going to redirect that pendulum and with the arm, you're going to bring it into the rack. So it's not a high swing. If I do a high swing and then bring it in, oh, it's a lot of energy to have to absorb. Not necessary. So it's a very low swing here and then bring it in. Now, your body is not a brick wall, all right? So it shouldn't bang you. It shouldn't bang your wrist. It shouldn't bang your shoulder. What you're going to do is slow the bell as you redirect it the arm can slow the bell here, slow motion. I'm slowing it until it comes in. Another way to absorb it is to rotate with it there. There's no banging. So as if you're catching a ball and you rotate with it instead of letting it smack you, right? So those are ways you can absorb it. And it's also a very small movement. So even when we send it away, we're not sending it away like that. Again, that's extraneous movement, right? All you need to do is open the angle of the elbow, and then the weight is going to fall on its own. There. So on the down and then on the upswing, it's a very small crescent. I like to think of the swing clean like the word and, because and connects two concepts or two words. And the swing clean connects two movements. So it's, it's really very, very small. And then when you send it out, so the same as the vertical clean, you're going to let the handle jump from the deep palm to the crease of the fingers. Open the elbow. It's going to, the weight will fall on its own. Catch it in the crease of the fingers. Really small, really lazy. That's your swing clean.